All right, welcome back in the studios. And uh, with me is uh, Jesse Priestley, a very renowned artist, international artist, if I must say, and I'm a big fan. He's worked with a lot of big names in the industry, and it's all to the glory of God. Jesse, welcome to Enter In. Thank you, Antena. Uh -huh. uh, how are you doing? I'm great, sir. Wonderful. Okay. I'm great. You, you've been in Zambia a lot of times. It's like second home, eh? <laughs> yeah, almost like. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. so um, any uh, local terms that you've learned so far? Uh, not quite. I'm okay. still learning, okay. but uh, I, I've got some music that I've now translated to, to uh -huh. uh, I believe it's uh, one of the languages. I, I don't know what exactly, because I believe you guys <laughs> have a lot of languages here. Okay, but uh, it's, I'm going to teach be, you a term. Uh -huh. Iliche. Ilije. Meaning it's good. Okay, what about Nizi? Nizi, it's almost the same thing, but okay. you know, just saying it's going down. I guess I'm cool. Who, right? who taught you Nizi? Uh, I'm getting worried. Who's been teaching um, you? Um, I kind of I kind of knew it. No. Like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay, but uh, some too. guys taught me that, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Love your music, by the way. Well, Very thank you, sir. inspiring. Thank you, thank you sir. I and uh, it. it's something that, you know, draws you into the presence of God. Well, thank um, God. Tell us a bit about your upbringing. Okay. H how oh. was it? Uh, I grew up in Zimbabwe, in Harare, Zimbabwe, uh, mm -hmm. in a place called Glenview. Okay. And um, that was uh, yeah, that was a bit hectic because you know, growing up as a little boy, I had much of a challenge with uh, with uh, with uh, with my my breathing. Uh, okay. So as there is not as an asthma or what, but as there is mostly it was like a lot of wheezing. If it gets cold or mm -hmm. if I run or stuff. Mm -hmm. So as there is surprisingly, I turned out to be a singer. Okay. So because because so, uh, were you singing? Because I read somewhere that you started singing at the age of four. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. That's that's very true. Yeah, I started singing at, at that tender age and uh, just uh, just from growing up with my brothers and sisters in our mm -hmm. family. You know, just passing on songs and, and all that stuff and but it was good that that brought us up and I was brought up in the house of God and mm. uh, uh, constantly in church and constantly singing so that really helped in, in in the in becoming the basic fundamentals of learning praise and worship learning mm -hmm. music itself and uh, and uh, and bringing me to this place okay tell yeah. us a bit about uh, family back home okay uh -huh. uh, um, our family is a family of five okay. uh, I've got uh, two brothers and mm -hmm. uh, two sisters I'm number four okay. and uh, my mom is there my father passed away in 2000 and uh, so as days um, still at that point you know it's very hard when my father passed away I I just finished my 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 all levels and so you know you're starting out into life now but was these had to now look to God and and uh, also with the support of family as well to just get through with life and all that uh, and but I thank God I'm here today because he has fathered me and has brought me to this place. Okay. Yeah. So w what else do you do back home apart from ministry? Uh, apart from ministry, uh, I do I do this this I do events deco. Um, wow. Yeah, exactly. So I'm next time <laughs> you come, you do deco for us. Yeah, yeah. I we could need I, that touch, I could you know? I could I could help yeah. ZBC, you know, Sing. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it it will be good uh, uh -huh. since I'm frequently here. I could do some work here and, uh, okay. and and become part of this and give back to 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 the nation. Okay. Yeah. Now um your music. Mm. Um, tell us some of the big names mm -hmm. that you've worked with. I know for a fact that every time Israel Houghton is around, uh -huh. uh, you know, Africa, you're always with him in, in, the, in the new breed okay. uh, group. Yeah. Um, tell us some of the names you've worked with and okay. how the journey has been and probably even how you linked up with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, first and foremost, I'm, I'm part of Israel Houghton and New Breed. Okay. And uh, that's, that's, a, that's a group that was founded by Israel Houghton, who's an international worship leader mm -hmm. uh, who lives in, this, in the United States. And uh, I work with him, like you said, whenever he's in Africa and uh, also uh, we're looking into bringing that further more out into into the other nations mm -hmm. I work with 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 that team and uh, I've, I've I've shared stage with uh, with uh, Marvin Winans uh, with uh, Michael Stampley Fred Hammond and uh, Dietrich Harden uh, Pastor uh, and Don Moen so not Pastor Don Moen and Don mm -hmm. Moen as well <laughs> and uh, so I've I've God has given me the grace and uh, just the favor to have met with those with those kind of people and uh, I've worked as well with Dr. Onita Bynum. I believe she's going to be coming here in the, on the 4th of July or something. Mm -hmm. And But that's just the grace and favor of God. Okay. Mm. What about here in Zambia? Have you noted <coughs> any names or you know, um, artists that you think, you know, I would, I'd love to work with this person? 
Uh, I like I like Ra Ra Rachel's music. Rachel, Rachel? Nanyang, yeah, she's yeah. good. She's okay. very good. And uh, I like Ephraim. Ephraim is the first guy mm -hmm. I met when I came here. Uh, when I came over to Zambia, he's the, I went to his concert actually, and uh, and uh, he didn't even know me, but he he allowed me to get on the stage and sing, and uh, I believe that just created a, a good bond right there. Okay. And uh, he's a great guy. I know he's a busy man, but uh, mm -hmm. but he's a great guy. Like I like those two people. Okay. Yeah. But then uh, your music, you mm -hmm. know, first time I, I heard uh, your music, mm -hmm. one could sense that it was birthed in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Just just what. What process do you go through mm. before the, 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 the writing of, of those lyrics? Uh, um, I can never put an event or a date or a process that's, that's like a, that's, that you can follow through or step through with. Mm -hmm. But uh, I believe the best process one can go through is a life and an experience, a life of worship. Mm. If you stay in the presence of God, you're guaranteed always when God wants to use you, He will give you, you will know exactly what God wants to do at the specific time, right time, which is what the Bible says that you should be ready in season and out of season. Wow. So as there is, it's actually a lifestyle of worship. So there's no moment where I have to, I have to psych myself up and, uh, and close my eyes, wave my hands and then mm. something happens. No, mm. this is something that just, you know that this is the set time God is about to do something and you are on point. Okay. Yeah. So uh, on the 8th, you mm. are having a concert. Yeah, we... Just briefly run us through it. Yeah, we're going to be having a concert at uh, Shepherd's Place mm -hmm. uh, in uh, near Charleston, uh, in Charleston, I believe, near mm -hmm. NRDC. Uh, that's going to be running from uh, 13 hours to 17 hours. Okay. Rachel Can't Nanyango will be there. Though. Oh, yeah. just as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wait to be there. Mm. But then today you're giving us uh, another song, uh, mm. Touch Me Again, yeah, one of yeah. my favorites again. Yeah. Yeah, sure. um, how did you come up with the song? Um, the song, we were, I was called to studio one day and they wanted me to record something. I went with a couple of songs they, they wanted and then, uh, you know, I was just like, you know, I'm tired of all this. Like I said, you know, if you're in, if you're in the will of God and you have a lifestyle of worship, I just started to sing and uh, sing a song from my heart. Mm. And this was a song that came from deep within. Like the Bible says that as a dear part for the water, so my soul longs after you, O oh God. Mm. This is something that came from within my spirit. And I just started to worship. And I, I, uh, I started telling the guy, you know, let's, uh, the, one of the guys I was working with the producers and say, okay, mm. let's work it that way. Just go to that. And I just, we wrote that song. And uh, I think the first day it was, it, uh, the this, this song was written, we, he played the song, I think, for almost closer to 12 <laughs> hours in his studio and calling uh -huh. people to say, hey, come and listen to this. Wow. And everybody would experience uh, the presence of God with that song. Okay. So, yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you, sir. I'm just tapping it. into the anointing yes, right now. Yes, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amen. beautiful. I was having a chat with Jesse Priestley, and uh, he's in the country and still going to be in the country for a lot of work uh, for God. And right now, let's join him on stage as he graces us with something called Touch Me Again. And that should be something that you should long for, for God to just touch you and restore that first love that you had for him. Let's join him. Oh, 
I have searched for 